We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome back to the Freak Show. I'm your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Ah, uh, it's been a while, and I think that's exactly what the last episode said as well. I even went so far as to just decide I've really been wanting to play Valkyria Chronicles again. And, um, yeah, I even started fresh, played back up to this point, and here we are, ready to dive in and continue our adventure. Uh, I just, I don't know, this is a special game to me. Uh, it's always something I want to go back and play. I really, really enjoyed my original playthrough back on the PS3, probably in like 2008, 2009. Not sure what made me gravitate toward the game back then, but for whatever reason, I picked it up and absolutely loved it. And it's one of the few games I think I just stuck with and beat from beginning to end without really diving into a bunch of other stuff as I went through. I mean, I've always been a little bit like this, but uh, it's definitely been a, a lot worse when it comes to doing stuff on YouTube. I rarely get a chance to play a game from beginning to end. So, that being said... Yeah, we're gonna see how far we can get into this. We're, we're gonna we're gonna play a bit. Uh, hopefully, I'm able to continue to carve out time because I also really want to play uh, Valkyria Chronicles Four. Uh, Sega was kind enough to send that to me a few years back, and honestly, I only played uh, like three, four episodes, something like that. And I, I'm just like, there's nothing quite like Valkyria Chronicles. So I don't know whether it was nostalgia or just whatever, but we're back. We're playing. We're gonna have some fun. Hopefully you're uh, you're on board with that. All right, Chapter Three: Vassal Urban Warfare, Elit War Correspondent. All right, let's see what we got. Ah, uh, good old Welkin and Alicia. Hey there. You guys aren't with Squad Seven by any chance, are you? Yes, that's us. <laughs> Bingo! I've been looking for you. Meaning you, hot stuff, on the tank. Me? Mm hmm. Um, excuse me, I. That must make you Lieutenant Gunther, am I right? Um, yeah. Yes, that's me. See Daisy. What? Hey, you can't. Ah, nice to meet you too. Now, let's get right to the questions. How big everybody's hands so, are. So, you're the son of the great General Gunther, huh? You look awfully young. How old are you anyway? Must be your first war, huh? What's been the uh, hardest experience so far? Um, Wait, happiest. I, no, oh, uh, funniest. I'd also like to know hobbies, favorite whoa. foods, uh, what you do on your days hey, off. Hey, lady! This is a combat zone. Excuse me, but what are you doing here anyway? Yeah, you hey, tell him, Alicia. Give me a break, will ya? Scoops are near danger, and I'm near scoops. That's right. The name's Ellet. I'm GBS Radio's top woman reporter. I smell a story. A good story. And you guys are it. You're not wrong. So, you... Uh, you're a reporter? Very good. I'm a reporter, yes. Mm -hmm. I've been assigned to Squad 7 to conduct a series of interviews. Thank you. Now, let's get back to those questions, shall we? Ugh. Uh. No, that's fine. All right, new episode has been added. We'll we'll dive into this in a second. I wanted... All right, so uh, initially I was playing, I believe, exclusive because I couldn't get my controller to work, I think, properly. But I was exclusively playing with a keyboard and mouse. I'll probably be doing some aiming with the mouse because controller aiming is always questionable. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be playing with the controller for the most part at this point. It does work well with the keyboard and mouse once you get used to the controls. So if you do not have a controller, do not fret, do not fear. You can absolutely play this game, and you'll do just fine, especially if you're used to you know, the uh, keyboard mouse. So let's go to skirmishes. Now, we we have one skirmish here. We are going to go and do that to, to kick us off, <clears throat> get back into some combat and everything else. But if I recall correctly, yes, if I recall correctly, I believe this is all the DLC stuff. So, Susie's challenge, Jan's challenge, Marina's challenge, Homer, Edie's, and Edie's detachment challenge. So, a whole bunch of different challenges that I guess have come through with DLC. I think that's accurate. I could be t completely wrong and totally inaccurate here, but I, I don't believe that's the case. And you'll notice that this is a scout. This is a mechanic. This is a, a 
assault, whatever the, the gunner. This is the Lancer, and this is a Sniper Challenge, and then finally we have a Tank Challenge as well. Uh, I'm not going to do the challenges right now. I'm probably going to save it till a little bit later on. I don't know how difficult they are, or if like getting upgrades beforehand is going to be useful, needed, required, or just helpful. I'm not real sure, but we're just going to stick to regular skirmishes for right now. Now these you can replay a bunch of times. You can farm experience and cash monies and stuff and such to actually get yourself well basically fully upgraded and all the equipment and things that you want so probably a good idea to do this at least semi occasionally there's a easy and a normal difficulty suited to people who are still learning the game and again you can make mistakes and skirmishes to some extent but if your characters die um they're they're gonna die it's you, you you don't want that that that's a bad thing so be careful to save your characters but say you're struggling and you can't really finish it in like a quick or timely manner take your time be safe right so definitely do that anyway let's let's get into it we're gonna go with normal we'll fight in a skirmish battle if I recall correctly, Here is a brief on the task at hand. I think we we just have like a whole bunch of people in a row and I know there's like a bridge at the end or something. All right, here is a brief at the task at hand, as our Capitan told us. We've received intelligence reporting Imperial activity in the area. This is your starting position. So we've been quickly and drive their strike force back. Your objective is to occupy their base camp. Good luck, Commander. Alright, I can do that. The enemy base camp is captured. Welkin dies. The enemy occupies the Gallia, Gal, Gallia's, Gallia, Gallia's base. Excuse me, guys. guys. I'm, I'm stuffy today. All allied soldiers and reserves are killed or 20 turns pass. So we have a lot of fail conditions. We get to bring nine people on this adventure. Now, I don't know if this is accurate at this particular moment in time. Does it show us anywhere? It should. I don't see it. Anyhow, I believe we we get bonus uh, command points by fielding Alicia, Rosie, Largo, and I think that's it. I think it's just those three right now. So if we field those three, I believe we get a bonus um, bonus to our command. I, I don't know how... I mean, like, I'm pretty sure that's accurate, but I don't know how to know that I don't know, maybe I'm wrong maybe that comes down the line but these are like like named story characters so I mean it kind of makes sense all right we're gonna put Alicia on the front lines Rosie as well I'm gonna put vice over here we're gonna bring a fresia or a fr was it Frisia? Something along those lines. Uh, we'll bring Largo, even though I don't know that Largo is going to be that useful. We'll bring Dallas again. Catherine. And who else do we want to bring? I mean, we could bring our double snipers. That is that is a possibility. You know what? Why not? Sure. All right, we could have also brought Ted, eh? Eh? All right. So that's the, the squad we're going to bring. Don't forget, guys and gals, uh, if you find characters that you want down the line, and I, I don't know if we can have more characters than just the 20, but other, other people will be available to hire. You can swap them out because if you guys recall, uh, the game allows you to train each class type, so scout or gunner or whatever the case is you can train those class types and all the characters in that class type get those advantages and same thing with all the equipment and everything else there are certain special equipment that you will get that you could give to other characters or specific characters so that's about the only thing anything that's outside the norm or the default uh, equipment that you'll have to transfer to the, say, the new character, the better character, or the better fitting character for whatever you're doing. So, again, 
I'll now, stuff you'll be able to I'm confident victory is within reach. Figure out and finagle as you go. All right, let's do this thing. I feel very let's stuffy. Let's drive these Imperials back out of Gallia. Squad Seven, move out. Yeah, you tell them, Welks. Let's get it. Squad Seven, move out. Edelweiss, move out. All right. Speaking of the Edelweiss, I think we're gonna we start go. with it. Gotta love nature. Okay, so I should have probably looked at the map a little bit more. There's a whole bunch of seriously dark Juju Magumbo going on over here. Alright, again, probably not the best of options. But... I think it works. All right, we are getting shot in the back because uh, we do have our engine exposed. I believe we're going to go ahead and we're going to use the, uh, the mortar. He's standing. He's standing. This dude's crouched. So if we uh, drop a little now. present on him, not only will he die, which is, you know, fine, um, he's no longer behind cover or crouched behind cover, I should say. All right, now. So enemy, 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 enemy. Uh, this guy we need to take care of. Where is our sniper? All right, we have Catherine here. I'm gonna go with Catherine first. Might be a mistake. Don't give up now. Oh my goodness, sorry. All right, yes, you. I want to shoot at you, sir. All right, let us zoom in and let us hope that we get the headshot here that we are looking for. Goodbye. We are. All right, Lancer's done. That means Edelweiss is not in any uh, risk of getting got. She is in a terrible position, but we can either move her again or we can solve the problems in other ways. I think we'll be able to solve it in other ways, but I could be completely wrong here. All right, I'm going to bring Vice up. Keep your eyes peeled up. Uh, I might have gotten a little too close to this guy. Um, they they seem to have noticed me a, just a little bit. Yeehaw! All right, we're going to end our turn. We definitely took some uh, damage, but we also turned their heads My turn, okay? which means we should be able to slip Alicia oh, oh this dude uh, seems to know our, our treachery here but pretty good chance we land at least a couple shots in the old face, facial region Worked out pretty okay. I think I'm just gonna hide behind uh, the old tank. The old Edelweiss is gonna provide us with a little bit of the old cover vice. Speaking of Edelweiss and cover vice, uh, Rosie's gonna move Let's up now. And uh, she's going to take no prisoners, of course. But there's a fairly good chance we're going to hit them in the head a little bit. A little, little bit of in the head, show what. Um... I mean, that's fine. I, I think I can handle this with maybe Fresia, or we could go with uh, a little sniper action. I mean, it could work. Roger. I feel much calmer. All right. I say we zoom in. I say we take careful aim. We say good day, sir. 
And we say good day, sir. Man down. Everybody be careful. All right. We'll leave her. And then, yes, Frisia. Frisia? Frisia? Whatever. She's going in. I'm ready to go. Yeah, you are. Hunks to my left. Hunks to my right. Here you are, stuck in the middle with... Oh, sorry. Ready and waiting for your command. Uh, no, I don't want that. I mean, I don't think I can do anything to you. Where's the other person? Oh, I see him. He's right behind that. So there's no way I can really hit that. Well, I mean, I could, but very unlikely. Uh, you have a grenade. You cannot throw it that far, though. All right, I guess we just shoot at him. We're not gonna be able to kill him here, but at least maybe we can wound him. Shall we dance? And then if he shoots at us, we can potentially exchange. Especially if he's foolish enough to run out from behind cover. I don't think she's in danger of death, but again, I could be completely wrong here. Okay, he took a single shot on us. Apparently she missed every shot that she took, which is not the ideal situation. I know, I too am shocked by this. Yeah, I kind of want the Edelweiss to go. Entering combat. Can the Edelweiss thread the needle though? <laughs> not quite, sorry. To approach the enemy's blind spot. Sorry. <laughs> All right, no. we're, we're dropping in on him. <laughs> I maybe sort of ran him over a little bit. Who are these guys? All right. I'm sure he's fine. Let's see if we can get Catherine uh, a little bit closer. I mean, theoretically, we could just take a a really difficult shot. I mean, we could still try to take this shot. I mean, it's highly unlikely we're going to hit. I like how I, I hold down. All right, here, watch. Ready? I'm going to hold down. I'm holding down just slightly, and that's what happens. And I go a little bit more, and then it goes. That's very weird. And same thing when I hold right, or is it left? When I hold left, it goes right slightly. I don't know why, it just does. I think it's something to do with the game itself. I don't actually think it's... Uh, well... I don't actually think it's the... Uh, the controller is freaking out, but maybe. Well, this could go very bad if we don't kill him. There we go. We got it. <laughs> I figured we'd, we'd be okay, but still. Alright, and there's our sweet, sweet victory. That was risky. I maybe should have run up with Alicia or somebody. Because Frisia got slapped around a little bit. So, a little bit of risk there, but it's all good. Operation complete. We took their base. Yeah, we did. Got a B rank. I'm sure there's a way to probably have just run through it without, um, uh, maybe in one turn. I'm sure there's probably a way that could have happened, but I don't know how, so. We'll take our B rank. And, yeah, I think we're gonna go back to headquarters. Sure. And we will run through, I, I do want to look at the squad barracks real quick. So we have all of these. Sorry, I, I wanted to see what some of these things are. Or at least how to see them. Okay, so nature lover. So we can actually go through all of these to really figure out what's going on and how it's happening. And how it's affecting things and so on and so forth. Being around nature makes his heart sore. 
bringing about a boost in his abilities. And calm heart, unshaken, even when surrounded by foes, he remains calmly in command, enjoying a boost in his parameters. Okay. And then she's country bred, standing on bare dirt, leads to a boost in concentration, raising accuracy. And maternal, when any of her close friends are nearby, the desire to protect them drives all of her abilities up. Uh, metal aller allergy. Proximity to metals causes an acute rejection reaction that leads to a steady drain of HP. Fancies both men and women. Having men nearby makes them uh, happy, leading to enhanced accuracy when firing. Same thing with women. So, perfect person to have in a group that's mixed with men and women. He's just shooting really good all of the time. Uh, trooper hater. For whatever reason, shock troopers aren't their thing. Attack power is lowered against shock troopers. So Susie's not super good at that. She's got the good buddy perk. Being around close friends makes even the battlefield a little cheerier, boosting their attack power. All right. And so on and so forth. We'll, we'll continue to kind of peek and look at this stuff as we go. But for right now, it's, a, it's an okay start. Oh, there is, I think, one other thing we can do. Let me let me see if I'm... Maybe I'm crazy. Can we... Yeah, so we if we get any additional weaponry... We can switch it up. So right now, every one of the shock troopers has the mags M2. That's as far as we've gotten in the hierarchy of uh, research and development. But when we took out was it Ty the Invincible, I think was his name, we got his ZM MP1. Now, the bad news with the ZM MP1 is its range is horrendous. The other one being 200, this being 80. But it does 10 more damage versus persons and 55 more damage against armor. So if we could get Bridget into just stuff, places and things of that nature, uh, like if we can get her behind a tank, she could actually tear it to shreds with uh, her, uh, maybe, with her, uh, this machine gun. But you gotta get close. 80 range is pretty, pretty darn close. It's actually less than her grenade tosses. So, just something to be aware of. I don't think I'm going to go that route with uh, Rosie, but uh, it's it's fine. Um, down the line, there is a possibility I'll be switching to special weapons that we get. And I believe we get the special weapons by defeating, like, the enemy aces. Not, not the ones that just give you command points and break those. But like actual named individuals. Again, I'm I'm going back in my memory from a long time ago. That's how that worked. All right, uh, training field. This is the actual reason we're here. But I figured we'd stop off and we'd see some of the stuff. All day. Yeah, you do. All right. Sniper. Engineer. Scout. Shock trooper. And lancer. All of them getting a level up. Use for tears. Sweat, 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 sweat. Yeah. Good work, maggots. You're, You're one, one level, level closer, closer to, to human. human. Love it. Looks like that session beat a new potential out of the shock I, troopers. I don't remember or know what the pot oh it tells us potential info. Okay. I, I noticed that up top. It's for a new order. Put it to good use out there. I say, I don't know what potential is. I, I know he says that, and that we keep unlocking it. But if we look at the top, it says potential info by hitting Y. Uh, shock troopers. I, I guess it's this. When crouching, their attack power is boosted. Or maybe all of them get a new thing. First aid, melee skills. I, I I don't I don't know how that works. I assume we just get like a new one of these these things. Based because what we we all have four, except for Vice, he has three. But he might have started with two. Now he has three. Eh. I don't know. Like I said, I, I I don't remember exactly how the potential works. But it's something like that. I think as you get new levels and you unlock the potentials, I think you just get additional skills added into your uh, thing until you get a total of, was it, eight or six? I think it's eight or ten, maybe. How we look? There's there's eight. Okay. But what is... Uh... Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, 
All right, all right, all right. I think I understand. Uh, P, I think, are the personal ones. So characters might unlock those as they go, but they start with personal ones. Then you see the ones that are B. I think those are tied into their battalion or their class, if you will. So we just unlocked ones for the shock troopers. So undercover fire for, for Rosie. Vice has a first aid boost. Melee skills for Edie. Jane has undercover fire. And Nina also has first aid boost. Uh, I think, yeah, Largo. So the Lancer's already got one as well. Yeah, that, that makes sense. They don't have any, and the snipers have a couple. Accuracy boost. Oh, we can even check them here. Firing accuracy is boosted a set percentage of the time. That's interesting. And perfect dodge. Cat-like reflexes allow them to consistently dodge enemy counterattacks. That's pretty good, actually. Especially if you're um, battling against other snipers and such. Alright, so we figured out the mystery there. Like, Mike, I should be able to figure it out. I could have dumped well, more I'm experience. Broke. I'm stoked you're here, man. Thanks. I could have dumped more experience there if I wanted to. It's fine. Alright, I think we're pretty much done with everything except, like, the Lancer. Yeah. So this increases damage versus personal uh, personnel and armor. Doesn't really do anything else, which is fine. Here you go. And if you didn't know, there's quite a bit that happens as we go. There, there's some branching paths and all sorts of stuff. I think that's it. Yeah. So from there, we now go down to the Edelweiss. We make sure that the body... Okay, so we have a few here. Uh, this increases our... Damage versus personnel and armor. All set. This gives us tread and body HP. And a little bit more defense on the tread, which I think just like lowers the amount of damage that comes on through. Steel upgrade, body defense is increased by 20. That's pretty much it. We can't afford the spare tread or the radiator upgrade. But these are ones that we have to fit into our actual tank, so, yeah. And I want to make sure that we do have it in the tank, right? Yeah, we do. The bulletproof visor gives us a little bit of extra accuracy. All right. I think that works. Come back again soon, bro. Yep, sure. Sure, sure, bruh. All right, we're going to go back to book mode. Yep. And we are going to see uh, the distrust. Rosie and Largo there. Doing what they do. Ugh. Now he's giving interviews? Who does he think he is? Ooh, look at him. Son of some big hero. Please. He's still a schoolboy. She's super happy. Very cheerful. No kidding. One little win and he's the new Grand Duke. Ah, oh, I hate kids. Mm -hmm. Ah, whatever. He'll learn soon enough. Only one thing matters out there in the field, and that's experience. It does help. Yeah. That is one of the quicker ways to improve. Operation Cloudburst. Operation Cloudburst. Alright, the personnel tab is now available. The weaponry tab is now available. Glossary tab is now available. About personnel, weaponry, and glossary. These three tabs offer information on the game's cast, the arms they wield, and the things and places that form their world. Open the menu with Y, then in the tab, sele uh, tab select menu, select the resource you'd like to read. Their contents are automatically updated as you progress through the game's plot, so check back on a periodic basis. Castlefront Street is now available. War Cemetery is now available. Personnel tab is now available. Weaponry tab, glossary tab. Uh, I don't know what those other two things were. Tab select? What was Castle Street and the other thing? I, I don't know. What, 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 what the heck was that? Is that in the headquarters? I, I apologize. We're, we're, we're going to do a little bit of... Oh, it is. Okay. Read the writing on the wall published regularly and the War Cemetery for everyone fallen in battle so far. 
uh, of our characters, which at this point there should be none. One would think. Paying your respects. Sorry, I suppose that was a foolish question. A little bit, yeah. Actually, no, sir. I'm not here visiting anyone in particular. No. Oh. Then might I ask what brings you to a place like this? I find it sobering, standing here in front of all those who died in the last war. Yeah. That and seeing this much death reminds me that humans are just another part of nature. Don't suppose I've ever heard that before. Judging from your clothes, your militia. Yes, sir. Lieutenant Welkin Gunther. I'm in charge of Squad 7, Regiment 3. Gunther. I see, I see. Squad leader, hmm? Very impressive for a young man. Not at all, sir. I'm still woefully inexperienced. Fair. One wrong order from me and my squad could wind up here. It's a huge responsibility. True. You respect the weight of their lives. Here. Let me teach you a special order. No. Oh, I didn't expect this. Cool. An order, sir? I'm sorry. Who did you say you were? <laughs> Just a leftover from the last war. I'm afraid my orders require some experience, though. Okay. I can't in good faith teach them to those who lack the maturity to use them properly. Fair. Now... Let's see. I'll teach you healing request today. Ooh, is that the one that lets us... It'll either let us heal or extract fallen uh, allies. Use it to request a medic to heal a single allied okay. unit's wounds. Well, what is your decision? Oh, yeah, absolutely. It'll cost... Uh... Oh, okay. So we got to gain some more experience before I can utilize that. That's fine. Um... I mean, I'll ask, but I don't have it, yeah. I see. I suppose it was too soon for you. Okay. I hope we'll meet again. Yep. Should you wish, you can likely find me here. Absolutely. That will be very, very useful. We haven't really used any orders yet, but uh, they do come in handy, and as the game goes on, more and more so, and even to the point where... I I think it's impossible to beat the last boss unless you just stack orders on someone. So it's uh Yeah, it's a it's a thing. All right. So I guess we should break off the episode here. I did want to dive into a bunch of other stuff, but for right now I think we're going to break it off here and the next episode we'll continue the story. We'll get to another actual story, mission, objective, battle, and so on and so forth. And we'll check the waterfront street or whatever it is. Uh, the, the other stuff we haven't done, we'll take a look at the personnel, uh, the glossary, and so on and so forth. That way, we kind of peek at everything. And since there's going to be a bunch of information that's going to be kind of thrown at us, we'll slowly over time kind of build that stuff up. So we'll, we'll like look every episode or every couple episodes at a few different things. And then as time goes on, we'll circle back. That way you guys get a, to fully immerse yourself in the game. It's a fantastic game. I absolutely love this game. And I want to play it. And I want to play the fourth one. So that's what we're doing. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I hope you had a fantastic Christmas. I'm recording this on uh, the day after Christmas. I actually forgot that we had started this series back when we originally got our hands on the fourth Valkyria Chronicles. And I recorded the first episode of this saying, oh my God, I don't think I ever did this on YouTube. And then um, when I went to upload it, I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Whoops. So kind of a fun little snafu. But either way, it got me excited to play this again. And here we are. All right. Till the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumby McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play, we fight, we conquer. <laughs>